We are back at Alani's Little World. And today we're going to be learning about the a, extinction of animals. Yeah, different animals that are extinct. Now, this is our first animal that is extinct. Now, Nani, what animal is this? The dodo, this which is, is pretty famous. This is a famous bird that went extinct on the island of Mauritius. And when did it go extinct? It went extinct late the late 1600s. Yeah, it went extinct because people came to the island and hunted them. And animals like rats and pigs ate their eggs. Yummy. I feel so bad. It is so sad because this bird was only on one island and people wiped it out. Here is another fact about the dodo. Dodos were big chubby birds that could fly. They Ob obviously they couldn't fly. <laughs> obviously they couldn't fly. They lived only on the island of Mar Mauritius far out in the ocean. Yeah. Now, it had no natural predators until humans arrived in the 1600s. Mm -hmm. Nate, can you tell us this next extinct animal? It is the woolly mammoth. Now, when did it go extinct, Elani? It went extinct about four, uh, 4 thousand years ago. Yeah, why did it go extinct? The weather got warmer and humans hunted them too much. This is true. Now, cavemen. Cavemen. Woolly mammoth <laughs> were across Europe, Asia, and North America. These guys were everywhere. Well, cavemen are cringe. Well, not really. Our ancestors were cavemen, Nate. Did you know that? <laughs> Mommy. Yes, you. No, I was the god beauty god. Your ancestors were cavemen, just like mine. Now, woolly mammoths were covered in thick fur to stay warm in the ice age. Their tusks could grow up to 15 feet long, which is about 5 meters. I mean, what animal is this one? Passenger pigeon. When did it go extinct, Alani? It went extinct in 1914. Now, do you know why it went extinct? Well, oh, people cut down the forest where they lived and hunted them. Which is... Pretty, really, really horrible. Yeah. Now, they were from North America. And a single flock, one single group of these birds, could be over a billion pigeons flying together. Wow. They were super fast flyers. Reaching speeds up to 60 miles per hour. It's really sad that we'll never get to see them again. It is sad, Ailani, because people destroyed the environment. Yeah. Now, here is another animal. And it is called the Tasmanian tiger. Now, when did it go extinct? In 1946. Yeah, it went extinct because people hunted it and introduced animals like dogs that competed with it. It was a marsupial with stripes. So people called it a tiger, but actually it was more similar to an opossum or animals like that or a kangaroo even because it had a pouch for its babies because it was a marsupial. <coughs> That's funny. It could open its mouth super wide, almost like a snake. Yeah, nearly 120 degrees like that. Whoa. It's crazy, right? I can't open my mouth that much. Now, this animal was in Tasmania, Australia, and parts of New Guinea. The great auk. Now, what is the great auk? It is like a type of bird, like kind of like a penguin. It was kind of like a penguin. Now, it went extinct in 1844. Now, it wasn't a penguin because penguins are all in the southern hemisphere. Chubby. They are chubby, but they're all in the southern hemisphere. But the great auk lived in the North Atlantic. Now, it went extinct because people hunted them for feathers, meat, and oil. Now, Nick, can you tell me more about the great auk? Great auks were flightless birds, but were great, amazing swimmers. Mm -hmm. They laid only one egg a year on rocky shores. Now this is part of the problem. Because they only laid one egg a year, it was very hard for them to reproduce and make babies. And so when they were hunted, they just disappeared. It's really sad. And Nee, what's this animal? The stellar sea cow. Now when did this go extinct? It went extinct in 1768. Yeah, it went extinct again because people hunted it. And also because it was- it's Always because of people. Why are people doing this? Right? Because it was big and slow. Well, people did it for these reasons. Tell me some more about this animal, Nee. It could grow up to 30 feet long and weigh 10 tons. That's right. It was really big and really heavy. Now, it only ate seaweed and stayed in shallow waters. And it lived in Alaska. 
Yep. The knee. How about this animal? It is a quagga. A quagga. Now it is kind of similar to, to a zebra. Exactly. But it's just like brown on top. And it went extinct in 1883. And why did it go extinct again? Because people hunted it and their land was taken for farming. People hunted it, and their land was taken for farming. I'm tired of it. Quaggas were zebras with stripes only on the front half of their body.、Mm -hmm. They made sounds like barking to talk to each other. <laughs> More like that. <laughs> Now quaggas were from South Africa. Yep. Nani, what is this animal? A、uh, golden toad. Now when did it go extinct? It was last seen in 1989. Why it went extinct? Actually, this is a little bit different. It wasn't hunted by people. A disease and changes in its home made it disappear, and it was in Costa Rica. Now, here's some more about the golden toad. Male golden toads were bright orange,、mm -hmm. like tiny flames. They lived in cool, wet forest high up in the mountain. And you can see that one is on the mountain right there. <laughs> Now, our next animal is from China, and it is called the baijie. baijie. Now, baijie or baijie, I don't know. Baijie, baijie. Now, when did it go extinct, Ni? It went extinct in the early 2000s. And it's functionally extinct now. Now, why it went extinct? A couple reasons: population and fishing made their river home unsafe for them. The baijie was called the goddess of the Yangtze River. Yeah, <laughs> it's a hard word. It used sound waves to find its way in the murky river. Now these guys couldn't see well because they had really small eyes because the river waters are very dirty. Well, not dirty, but muddy and silty, and so they can't see so well. So these guys use sounds to move their way around. Now this is our next animal, and it is the Pyrenees. Up,、uh, sorry, it is in the Pyrenees Mountains, and it was the Pyrenean ibex. Now, Ni, when did it go extinct? It went extinct in the year 2000. Now, why it went extinct once again? Overhunting and lost of its mountain habitat. Yep, it lost its mountain habitat because people were coming in. Now, it was a type of wild goat with curved horns.、Mm -hmm. Scientists tried to clone it in 2009, but the baby ibex only lived a few minutes.、It's、super sad. Now, Nee, what's this one? This is an Irish elk. This is the Irish elk. Now, this was in Europe and Asia. And it actually went extinct a long time ago, about seven thousand seven hundred years ago. How do I have pictures of it? That's a different type of elk, but we're gonna imagine that's what it looks like too. Now, why did it go? That's that's a great question. Why would we have a picture of it at seven thousand? They didn't have cameras back then. <laughs> Now it went extinct because of climate change and a lack of food. It was the largest deer. Ever with antlers that could stretch 12 feet wide. This was not just a deer. This was a giga deer. Shh. Not the same. Despite its name, it wasn't just found in Ireland. Our next animal, the heath hen, went extinct in 1932, and it went extinct again because of humans. Overhunting and habitat loss. Now the heath hens. Were small ground-dwelling herds that looked like kind of like a prairie chicken. People once joked about saving the last heath hen. I, I,、uh, I made these slides and I spelled the name Heath Hen.、Uh, it, yeah, it, it, it's Heath Hen now. Now people once joked about saving the last heath hen, but by then it was too late. Solve it. Now we're getting to the end here. We only have a few more animals, but this one was one of the biggest. It is called the moa. moa. Now, plural moas, and these guys were in New Zealand. Now, when did they go extinct? They went extinct in the 1400s. Now, again, it went extinct because of overhunting by humans and habitat destruction. Moas were flightless birds and could grow up to 12 feet tall, but they were not defenseless. These guys were big. And powerful birds,、mm. but they were not the top animal in their ecosystem. They were eaten by. They were eaten by the largest eagles in history. Yeah, the largest eagles in history. A host eagle. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but these were giga eagles. Now, this 
This is a Pinta Island tortoise. Now, these are a cousin of the Galapagos tortoise. This one went extinct in 2012 when the Lonesome George, the last one, died. Now, why did they go extinct? Habitat destruction and once again... By humans. Hunting. I know, by humans. Humans. Now, these animals are wild though because Galapagos tortoises and the Pinta Island tortoise could live a long time. There is a Galapagos tortoise alive right now that is over 200 years old. Crazy, right? It, it was alive when uh, Charles Darwin visited the Galapagos Islands, and it's still alive today. What? It's Giga Chad. No. How, how old is it? I actually think it's like 200 something years old. It's really old. Lonesome George became a symbol of animal conservation efforts. These tortoises can live over 100 years. And we're super slow moving. I'm actually going to fact check how old tortoises can get, because I might be wrong. But they can grow really old. Pop up here to see the oldest tortoise alive. See that tortoise up there? Mm. Handsome guy. It is the oldest tortoise alive. And you can see its age right there too. Thank you. Now remember, one of the most common causes of extinction for all of these animals was people. You? Not, not me, but people in general. And we, you and me, and you, can help keep other animals from going extinct because right now there are animals around the world that are at risk of extinction. Rhinos, some types of lions, actually a lot of different animals. What do you think the boys and girls can do to help protect animals' name? They can help them. I hope so. By learning more and protecting their habitat. Mm-hmm. Be sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.